Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm reviewing the recently released Graham the Gambler Usher Darts from Perfect Nine Darts. So let's check them out. The darts are only available in 23 gram and only in steel tip, the 90% tungsten and the retail for £55.99. So once again it comes in the still fancy packaging just a slim down version of the older style what they have you pull that tab inside got a dense tray holding everything in place and it comes supplied with this crafted solid metal uh, dart holder so it's quite a neat addition for displaying your darts and you've got the perfect nine medium nylon stems and there should be two sets of the perfect nine standard shape flights that's fit with a silver point it's a straight barrel dart but uh, as you can see it's got that taper at the front but it's actually got a smooth transition there from the point to the taper so it's not catching so might save your flights a little bit and fairly basic looking dart when you first look at it it's just got some uh, grooves there and then on the rear it's got the kind of like dome grip but you may not be able to see it through this one we might see it better in the close-up it's got a, a very fine micro grain texture on the dart um, for me though it does kind of feel a little bit slippy but it may depend on the individual some people may find they get some grip from it and um, we'll have to see how it feels when i throw it though but uh, it's kind of an elegant looking dart and if you don't like a lot of grip i'm pretty sure you, you'll be quite a fan of that also feels fairly slim as well so we'll have to see how i get on with them and there's the medium nylon stems and the standard perfect nine flights all right so there's the uh, taper there like i said it's a smooth transition from the point to the barrel there and if you look closely you can see it's got a kind of like a fine texture finish to the barrel almost like a very fine sandblasting so mostly smooth at the front and then you've got these ring and groove wide rings and fairly wide deep grooves and then on the rear it's got these little dome shaped indents but all barrels got that little fine micro texture on it and then as you get to the end of the barrel again mostly smooth just a slight taper on the very end so that's the super close look at the Graham Usher darts that's fit with a silver 28 millimeter point you've got a very fine taper there at the front 22 millimeters but smooth transition from the point to that and then a smooth section 13 millimeters but of course it's got that micro grip texture on it micro grain i should say and then you've got a ring and groove grip 9.7 millimeters and then the rest of the barrel is 31.1 millimeters mostly smooth except for the 14.7 millimeter dome cuts length 55.8 millimeters with 6.2 millimeters twenty three grams exactly twenty three grams exactly again and twenty three point zero six full setup twenty four point nine five grams here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup and this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights the 
so it's a low level grip dart, maybe four at most. Oh, <laughs> I thought, am I going to get another 180 on my first go again? No. I'm a bit surprised actually. Um, usually with a long dart like this, and also with the medium stems making it even longer, usually fish tail all over, but they actually went quite smooth through the air. Um, it is a long dart though, obviously, nearly 56 mil. And the reason why it normally fish tails for me is because I often hold it right at the, the front. But obviously you can change setup, you can use a shorter stem. But it actually got quite a pleasant feel to the dart. And I'm not really sure about the micro uh, grain grip or micro texture grip, whatever it was called. It still kind of feels like a smooth dart. I'm not really feeling like the texture or anything, but it may be having an effect without me even realizing it. Oh, another two trebles. But I think like a lot of smooth darts, it really depends on the individual, how your fingers interact with it. Some people, it will feel slippy too, and others, others it feels grippy too. Um, but just for the sake of trying, I'm gonna move my grip up a little bit to where the uh, ring and grooves are just to see what that feels like. It does feel a little bit more grippy there like. It's not quite in my natural spot but it's still flying quite smooth considering. Um, so if that's where you naturally grip it you will get a little bit of grip from there. Um, let's try to think where's the middle. I think the middle is just around about just in front of where the dome cuts start. So I'll just try it from the middle. It's actually quite flying fairly smooth from there as well. So if you're a natural middle gripper, you'll be fine. Um, should I try it right at the end of the barrel or I think I'll just try it on the uh, the dome cut spot towards the rear just for the sake of that it's going to be worse from the rear let's see if I can improve that a little bit the last one not too bad through the air but not on target for me but I often find it a lot more difficult with a long dart trying to throw it from the rear because I think I never know what to do with the other fingers. <laughs> I think some rear grippers like to hold it like that but I tend to hold it as if I'm holding it from the front and I don't really think that's the best way because it tends to do that a little bit rocks on me grip but it's quite a pleasant dart like I say holding it from the front it actually felt quite nice. Um, quite a thin barrel but a long one obviously I think if I was going to play with them for longer and try and get more used to them I think I'd probably switch out the uh, medium stems for a, a short stem but it might be just one of them darts that you just need to get used to a little bit more but I haven't said that yeah, a few troubles with it with my front grip so I'm happy enough Oh, 
that's close. Is that in? It is. <laughs> Trusty old double three, all right in the corner. <laughs> Number two is quite close, like, but not close enough. Oh, that definitely wasn't a good one. I'm only one so far. I'm a bit conscious of whacking me face like with it being a long dart. There's two. Oh, nearly. Two. Oh, a three more than what I was expecting to get. That's four. Oh, that one hit me chin. Damn it. There's five. Oh, nearly. Ah, it's close. So, five. Ah, six points. Thirty points. I should have had more than that. I think I tried too hard. <laughs> Four points. Ah, unless I've miscounted, I think it was 53. <laughs> that snacking the stem. <laughs> the flight's coming off. <laughs> oh well. I two of the tines are broke. Well, it's still gone in the 25. Barely hanging on the flight though. <laughs> Let's throw that one first again. <laughs> it is, <laughs> simple th things amuse simple minds. <laughs> Two twenty fives, that's seventy five points after six starts. I like to get my money's worth out of a stem. <laughs> I can't believe it's actually going in the twenty five. Or it's going through the air, it looks as if it's gonna fall off. A 
that's another 25s. That's 100 after 9. I don't know how long I'll, I wouldn't ever be able to throw it with just, just one tine left. <laughs> oh, I didn't come off that time. Another 25, that's 125 after 12. Last one. Oh, it nearly came off, it's gone all wonky. Oh, can't see. Another 25, that's 150. All right, so you have to go further down for this one and round the clock on doubles, got five, 30 darts at 20, got 30, 180 round the clock, 53 and 150 on the bulls. So there you go, that's the perfect nine Graham Usher darts. I started quite well on the 30 at 20 and I thought oh, I'm going to get a 180 here and then I think I was trying too hard to get it and I, I kind of messed up a little bit. I think I would have possibly got my high score on that if I hadn't if, uh, been overthinking it and I should have just relaxed and carry on but never mind. Anyway, it certainly surprised me this start. It, it feels a lot more pleasant to throw than I thought it might be, especially as it's quite a long dart and a relatively thin one for me, but uh, it just feels quite pleasant to throw. So if you're into your long barrels and you don't need a lot of grip, I definitely recommend them. And it's quite an elegant looking dart. It's kind of simple and basic, but still kind of elegant as well with it. So I'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a closer look at them and you can buy these from the Perfect Nine site and I think also on, was it Premier Darts? Yeah, I think it was Premier Darts. So I'll put the links up for them in the description. I'll see you on the next one. Happy darting.